This is He Knows Everything bringing you that heat and fire. We keeping a foot on the what? On the Knicks. We keeping a foot on the what? On the Knicks. Let's talk about it, man. Now, in the last video, I talked about punch rate, right? We talked about Earl Spence is 70 plus punches per round. We talked about Terrence Crawford is 30 punches per round. A lot of dodo heads liken this to Manny Pacquiao. Earl the True Spence and Manny Pacquiao is not the same fighter. Manny Pacquiao fights in punches and bunches. But the problem with Manny Pacquiao, he doesn't have the black slickster style. Earl the True Spence has the black slickster style. He proved that in the Mikey Garcia fight. Earl the True Spence can slip punches. Earl the True Spence can parry punches. Earl the True Spence can get in between punches and then punch in between your punch. Manny Pacquiao can't punch in between your punch. He punches and bunches. Let me say that again. I need to let that marinate in the corpus colossum and in the cerebellum. So hear me and hear me motherfucking well. So let's rewind it back. Manny Pacquiao fights in bunches, punches and bunches. Earl the True Spence throws punches in between punches. Case in point, go look at the uh, unlimited pressure and how he systematically broke down Kell Brook. Round after round, people were like, man, the fight is so close. But why was Earl the True Spence able to systematically break down Kell Brook? He broke Kell Brook down because Earl the True Spence was throwing punches in between punches. The only types of fighters that do shit like this is Floyd Money Mayweather. The only th fighters that do shit like this is Andre Ward. We're talking about error-filled fighters. What did we say about Earl the True Spence? He's an error-filled fighter. It went from Floyd Mayweather to Andre Ward to Earl the True Spence. Let me say it again. It went from Floyd Mayweather to Andre Ward to Earl the True Spence. He is the now what we will call the current error-filled fighter. So when it's all said and done, when we're looking at the Dillian Nation, we're looking at the distinction, we're looking at the golf, and we're looking at the separation, this 70 plus punch punching rate, if you're a dodo head, on the surface, you're going to think, well, Earl of True Spencer is going to come in and throw punches. But if you're not a dodo head, and you actually have a corpus colossum, you actually have a cerebellum, you actually have what we call a medulla obligata. Then you'll be able to break it down and say, you know what? These two and a half punches at an advantage of a guy that punches in between your punches, a guy that breaks down your system of boxing and makes you fight into his style and his system. That is what now we call uh, unlimited pressure. This is what's called being drowned in fucking deep waters. This is how Spence punishes fighters. This is how he is known as the error filled fighter of being a levying onslaught of a punishment style. This is what tactical aggression is all about. It's about basically bringing you down the leagues and leagues of water. This is what technical punch and placement is all about. It's about drowning your rabbit ass. And this is what body snatching work, the levying onslaught of the punishment style is all about. After you've been drowned, after you've been brought leagues and leagues underwater, then you know what ends up happening. Deepest, bluest, my heart is like a shark's fin. Deepest, bluest, my heart is like a shark's fin. So basically, the Megalodon shark is ready to eat. And when I, we say ready to eat, this is when Earl the True Spence is ready to knock your ass out or TKO you. That's the cold hearted. That's the unadulterated. That's the cutthroat truth telling fashion. I keep the foot on the what? On the Higgs. I keep the foot on the what? On the Higgs. I can't help dodo heads. I can't help brain full of mush. I can't help basically what we will call plum plum brains. I can't help Rudy fucking poos. I can't help these motherfuckers get it. Because if you can't get it, then you're not a real G. You're not a super real G. And you're not an ultimate real G out here in these boxing streets. Only they get it. This is He Knows Everything. Check it out.